Okay, here we are. It must be Thursday night for you guys because you are hopefully watching Trenny and C. Uh, we are here, oldmanclub.com. We've uh, got a brand new whiskey to review today. This is an international, or what, what would we call a this? A world, world whiskey? whiskey? Yeah, this is, we got the Suntory Tokai, or Toki whiskey uh our first japanese whiskey yeah so stick around and find out a lot more about this one mm -hmm. Okay, um, this guy, why don't, you, why don't you pour it for us? Sure. Um, at Trenny and C, we do nose, color, taste, finish, and viscosity, correct? Yes, we do. Um, oh, I should pour oh, you yeah. first. Yeah, gentlemen. We're, we are in the gentlemen's club polite, here. That's polite, isn't right? it? Yeah. So, just a couple of uh, uh, bullet points about Suntory. Suntory was established in 1923 as the Yamakaze Distillery. It was Japan's first major distillery, and they started producing different spirits. Um, but, you know, years and years and years later, uh, it bought Jim Beam. Is that how it works? Fast forward to 2014. Yeah, yeah. Suntory buys Jim Beam for $16 billion. $16 billion. They must have been doing pretty good on their own yeah. before that in yeah. order to come up with 16 billion dollars and, and it's crazy to think because now that is still only the third largest conglomerate company spirit Pro maker pr producing spirits so yeah diageo must be the first and like maybe prenode pr pr oh yeah, yeah like right, that kind yeah. of thing um anyway so once they bought it out they changed the name to uh beam centauri uh and there's a ton of products you can just go to wikipedia and look it up <laughs> that they the have so much Suntory lineup. Yeah, is it, it's just that. It's huge. Um, anyway, so we're gonna get into this guy. Uh, like I said, nose, color, taste, finish, and viscosity. This whiskey is bottled at forty three percent, which is nice that it's bottled a little bit higher than the regular strength. Um, uh, there's no age statement on this guy, which is is. I'm not gonna say it's great because we prefer an age statement on most whiskeys. We do. However, this is a pretty cheap Japanese whiskey. It's only a proc... I mean, in, a, in the United States, it's between $40. Uh, here, it's about $50. Mm -hmm. But um, that's a relatively good price for a Japanese whiskey. We, and yeah. so this is a... Uh, this is also... This is a blended... A blended whiskey. Yeah, so, so this is grain and malt... This exactly. particular whiskey, the Suntory Toki or Tokai, not great on my Japanese pronunciation. Yeah. We'll work on that. I'm sure someone will comment and tell me uh, which one is correct. This is exclusively bottled for North America. Right. The Toki Tokai. Yeah. So, so. Um, some interesting features. Mm -hmm. Screw top. Yeah. You not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're always a big fan of the the uh, cork, but a real it, cork. Yeah, it doesn't. You know, I guess. Except when they break off ten years <laughs> later, and you're like running it through a sieve to try and pour your whiskey. Yeah, because anyway. all the corks in the bottle. But whatever, yeah. doesn't happen often. Uh, this one was also released. This particular bottling released in June 2016. So this is a relatively new product. Okay, so let's get to so the actual. So color, nose, taste, finish, viscosity. Yeah, I mean, you guys are here to hear about what it actually tastes like and stuff like that. So I let's get to it. it. So color, I said that this is beyond gold. Like when I look at this bottle, which is getting pretty low now. Like, how much time did you spend? How many? How many samples did you take while well, you were doing notes? It's only been released for a couple of months, so yeah. it's gone relatively mm. quickly, I guess. Um, so this is beyond gold, in my opinion. Like this is like yellow. Yeah, it, it is. This it whiskey is. is yellow. It's it's quite light. It's uh, it's like it's a really healthy like you. You've been drinking enough water that your urine is about this color. Yes, it's 
<laughs> so it's good. That's an interesting way to say it. Yeah, I think so. Uh, so there's your color. So we'll let okay, you just... one thing with the color though, there's nothing on the bottle uh, stating anything about it being natural color. Mm -hmm. However, because it is a lighter uh, spirit, I'm thinking there it is more on the natural side. Okay. However, there's nothing saying it, so you can never actually guarantee that. Right? Knows it. Okay, let's do it. So it's it's got a soft faint nose mm -hmm. um it's pleasant but it is mild it's it's funny because the color in a lot of ways tells you about what the nose is going to be it's yeah. quite light yeah it's quite grainy uh for okay for me for this one and this is the uh, along with taste and nose um it reminds me a lot of obviously a japanese whiskey but it reminds me of a Japanese whiskey made in the single malt style Scottish fashion, okay. but aged in Ireland. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of what it reminds me of. It has these three kind of features to it. It's very like an Irish kind of Jameson style it's nose. Extremely too. worldly. Yeah. But it also, you can tell there are some, there's some single malts in there. But yeah, it's, um, I agree with you on the grainy comment as well. Yeah. I taste, or I smell a lot of the grain, um, the grainy features, which often to me also comes through in like a, a bit of a doughiness. Yeah, exactly. A bit totally. of a sweet dough. It's got this, this, there is that sweetness to it, like a yeasty yeah. kind of sweetness. A honey and a doughy. It's a bit of a salted lime kind of thing going on there. There is some citrus, with, which I pick up. I agree. Yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. Um, but I also got a bit of a, on the fruit side there, a little bit of apple pear kind of thing going totally. on. Again, Absolutely. lighter, milder flavors. Yeah. Yeah, and, and we haven't added water, but I do know when I do add water to it, it it brings out a little bit of that lemon oil from like a lemon zest, I find. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of the citrus notes, notes come out on the water added. One, the, the final note that I had on the nose is is maybe based on on um, <coughs> something going on in the back of my brain here, historically speaking, yeah. from a memory. It's like a, a peach bellini kind of thing going on there. I don't know if I've ever had a peach bellini. <laughs> oh, me neither. I just, somebody told me about yeah, it one time. Yeah, your girlfriend had yeah. some one time. You she had told me it tasted yeah. like this smells. Yeah, yeah. Peach okay. bellinis are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing wrong with yeah. those drinks, for sure. Okay. Okay, let's, let's taste this stuff. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Mm. Again, healthy light. Pour. Healthy it pour. It is a healthy pour. Glass. It's light, but I find in the flavor, we talked about grains, but you can really, there is a, a good quality malt to mm -hmm. this whiskey. Um, and for the price being so low, it's easily could be like a mixer for some people, but at the same time, it's it, there's nothing to really back your eyelashes what well, would you mix this with just like a soda kind of like yeah you would, like yeah. a scotch and soda kind yeah of thing? like a soda maybe some uh lemon squeezed on it or something yeah. like that, that might um, be nice. but i agree it's 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 got a pleasant arrival it is grainy on the palate as well as on the nose mm -hmm. um it's mild it's a bit floral it's a bit flowery on the palate for mm -hmm. me there is a sweetness to it and i think um this and some parts of it have been aged in american oak so naturally, there there comes like a uh, vanilla kind of yeah. bourbon sort of note to it, the which is nice. Kind of yeah. Um, but I also on that floral note, I kind of got a little bit of that kind of like um, almost like a honeysuckle kind of a, a sweetness. There to is, it there is for sure. To it. Yeah. Um, it is similar to Scotch blends, I find, yeah. but there is like I said that on the taste there's that irish crispness to it sure. like it's quite fresh mm -hmm. tasting yeah it's fresh so, and it's pleasing it's mild it's there's nothing offensive about yeah. it it's just kind of it flows nicely but it is it's an easy drinker yeah it's it and and that's really um i guess what we're saying is it's it's not that uh expressive it's just not that uh, complex complex it yeah. doesn't have the robust feeling that some of these other higher quality ones do but like it's good yeah it's, it's good. good and it's balanced and it's mild yeah i think that's the key here is it does have a, a good balance if to it. you're looking for something with pop and kick and a, something more aggressive 
you're in the wrong place. Yeah, this is this is just a smooth, easy, easy drinker. Yeah, there's nothing blowing your head off with this one. No, it's 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 nice. For for better <laughs> or for worse. Yeah, for better or for worse. So on the finish, um, I got a slight warming effect out of the finish. Yeah, like heat in your mouth, yeah. kind of warming, yeah. or just like your soul feels good. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of both. <laughs> Okay, good. I'm for me the on the finish. That's where I'm getting a little bit of smoke. There is a touch of this smoke, but also kind of woody. Maybe it's actually the charred oak could be oh, okay. part of that. It those old barrels all sure. the way through. It just sort of reminds me of something kind of Irish. Okay, again, it reminds me of like a Japanese whiskey made in the style of a blended Scotch, bought, aged in Ireland. Yeah. I don't know if that makes any sense. No, I think that's well said. Yeah. I think you've captured the I think you've captured the spirit, but not in the way they meant it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, on the viscosity, viscosity level, um, there are some light oil, oily kind of flavors here. I don't think it's been aged a very long time. Um, because the swiftness of the finish is is pretty quick and the oils in your mouth kind of It's there and it's gone. Yeah. Yeah, but there is a little bit of a, there is a, a touch of stickiness to it. Mm -hmm. Just a touch. It's like that lemon oil thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I agree. Okay, so we are going to uh, score this up here. Uh, I gave it, and this does not happen often. I gave it a 24. You gave it a 24. Right, so we're going to get the, the board here and put it right down. Oh, by the way, that's a grand 24. total of 24. Yeah. If you're doing math at home, 24 plus 24 divided by 2 is 24. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we've done fumble fucking around, and uh, we have our score. It is pretty much right in line with where you know, we expected, where we thought it should go. It's nice. It's a nice whiskey. Nothing and wrong with it. A 24 isn't a terrible score. No. We've certainly scored... In the past, many below that. Down here. Um, so we should mention again that our top score is 33.33. So uh, Top possible score. Top possible score. So nothing has ever reached that, and I'm not sure that it ever will. However, there's been some that have come in yep. the 30 range. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, so thank you again for joining us. He's Trenny. I'm C. We're Trenny and C. We do whiskey roofs. Reviews for the OMC. Uh, we're here every Thursday, 6 p.m. You can um, sign up to be a member at the OMC. You can just quickly hit subscribe here and never miss a Trendy and Z episode You could have done it right in that time he was speaking. And you should actually do it now. Right now. So we're going to cheers. While we're cheersing, and there's going to be a little song playing us off, you hit subscribe. 